Deliverance Prayers Deliverance is and has always been the will and plan of God for His children. For instance, He delivered His people, the Israelites, from the bondage of Pharaoh and the Egyptians. He also delivered them from Balak the king of the Moabites, and the kings of Amorites, and a host of other kings that at one time or the other stood against them and wanted them destroyed and exterminated, and not to possess their God-given possession and inheritance. Until today, God is still in the business of delivering His people. He still delivers them from diseases, sicknesses, accidents, death, curses, physical attacks and spiritual attacks among others. In Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17 His word says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. So today, as I pray with you, you will gain total deliverance, from every satanic or demonic orchestrated limitations and challenges. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. Alright, now let us pray. Everlasting Father King of Glory, I come unto you this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, being that deliverance is your will for us your people, therefore dear Lord, I hereby ask and request for my total deliverance from all the limiting powers of the enemy, the devil, and his cohorts. For your word says in 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, that it's for this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Therefore dear Father Lord, by the manifestation of your Son, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, deliver me O Lord from all the works of the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, deliver me O Lord from among other works of the devil. My Lord and my God, deliver me from sicknesses. Deliver me from diseases. Deliver me from lack and wants. Deliver me from lack of favor O Lord. Deliver me O Lord from delays. Deliver me from natural disasters. Deliver me from O Lord spiritual and physical attacks. O Lord, deliver me from any form of accident and every other evil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For in your word of Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17 O Lord you say. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Lord, I demand my possession of total deliverance of my family. Total deliverance of my household O Lord, total deliverance of my well-wishers from the spirit of poverty, anger, depression, stagnation, retrogression, slavery and servitude. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me possess my possessions in you O Lord. My possessions of good health my possessions of longevity, my possessions of wealth and riches O Lord, my possessions of sufficiency in all good things of life, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Deliver me also dearest Lord, from the enemies and those that covertly or overtly hate me. Deliver me Lord from their plots and schemings. Let their plans like David prayed against the counsel of Ahitophel be turned into foolishness. In the name of Jesus Christ, Dear Lord, as you delivered Jacob from Esau his brother, as you delivered David from Goliath O Lord, as you delivered the Israelites from the children of Moab, and the children of Ammon, and the Ammonites, who came against them. Lord, deliver me as well and cause my enemies to be routed and totally defeated. In the name of Jesus Christ, deliver me also dear Lord and my family from all the frenemies out there, who pretend to be with me but in an actual sense working against me. Lord, deliver me from them. Open my understanding and spiritual eyes to understand and discover them and their plots, so as to avoid and escape their malevolent intentions. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as you said in your word of Galatians 3 verse 13, that Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree. Therefore, dear Lord, I demand for the manifestation of my redemption from every curse of the law. Let it be so evidential and visible in every way, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
let everything called captivity come to an end in my life and family in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, deliver me from the wills and wishes of those who hate me and do not wish me well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, by the power of your word, go before me and level every mountain of hindrance and delay. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver O Lord me from the forces of stagnation, backwardness, delays and demolition. In the name of Jesus Christ. Counteract every enchantment and divination made or enchanted against me. In accordance with your word of Numbers chapter 23 verse 23 which says. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel, according to this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what hath God wrought? Therefore Father Lord, according to the powers of your word, deliver me from every enchantment, divination, abracadabra and magic statements made against me, my family and my household, in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, deliver me also in accordance with your word of Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 20, which you said you will make us unto the people of fenced brass and wall, and they shall fight against us but they shall not prevail against us for you are with us, to save us and to deliver us. Therefore dear Lord, deliver me out of the hand of the wicked and redeem me out of the hand of the terrible. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in accordance with your word. Lord, act fast to save me, my family and my household for yours I am, and in you is my hope and confidence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver me dearest Lord from the traps set for me by the enemies and those who hate me and my success. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Father Lord for answering me, for with thanksgiving and in Jesus name I prayed. Amen. Now let me pray for you. Dear Everlasting Father King of Glory, I come unto you in faith and in confidence in your word. Lord, the confidence we have is that when we pray, you hear us, save and deliver us. For you told us to ask, in your word of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. Lord you say, ask and it shall be given to me, to seek and I will find, to knock and the door will be opened unto me. Dearest Lord, I come unto you this hour in full faith and confidence in you and your word. For that is the confidence we have in you, that whenever we ask you hear and answer us. Therefore dear Lord, I ask that you instantly deliver all my listeners from every act of the devil, and anything that constitutes bondage or captivity in their lives and progress. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Deliver them Lord from the plans and plots of their enemies and those who hate and wish them ill. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dearest Heavenly Father, save and secure them from the attacks of every evil entity and those who take pleasure in iniquities and other people's downfall. In the name of Jesus Christ. O Lord, in you they hope and depend on for deliverance, healing, protection and provisions. Therefore Lord, do not allow them to be laughed at by their enemies. Do not allow their enemies O Lord to question them about where is their God. Remember dearest Lord, that you promised in Romans chapter 10 verse 11, that whosoever that believeth on you shall not be ashamed. Father on you, have these ones believed on. Therefore dear Lord, may none of these suffer shame, in the name of Jesus Christ. May they not see nor suffer the shame of abandonment, captivity, slavery and servitude in whatever form. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver them dear Lord from all forms of evils and reproaches that bring shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let shame and things that cause shame be far from them, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give them double prosperity, double favor, double promotion, double wealth. Anything that they desire double of it, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you dear Heavenly Father, for having heard and answered us, for in Jesus name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.